Your next plant is Camacyprus newt catensis. This is uh, Alaska uh, cedar or newtka fall cypress. So uh, first thing I do want to point out when we say it's Alaska uh, or Alaskan cedar, of course we just did a, a, a species that's in the genus Cedrus. So Cedrus is our true cedars. Everything else are, are just pretenders. This is uh, not a true cedar, of course, so that's only in the genus Cedrus. So uh, Camacyprus uh, newt catensis uh, is over to my left, to your right, and over here is Camacyprus lawsoniana, the Port Orford cedar. So I just wanted to show you this, this shot of having both of them, that from a distance even, uh, you should be able to tell uh, these two apart. But Camacyprus newt catensis, you can see the branches uh, tend to be more pendulous, and so that's one good landscape uh, way of telling them, uh, telling them apart. Also, the, um, on the undersides of the leaves, they lack the stomatal bands that you see in Camacyprus lawsoniana. And finally, um, well, two things. One, the leaves, they too tend to be not quite uh, as impressed or, or uh, oppressed along the stem, so they do tend to flare out just ever so slightly in Camacyprus newt catensis. And then finally, uh, the cones, they are also a uh, globose uh, woody cone, but they tend to have um, uh, some, somewhat of um, prominent spikes on the cone. So when, you, when you're grabbing the cone, you can see that there are some spikes as opposed to uh, Camacyprus lawsoniana that'll lack those. So that is uh, your Alaskan cedar Camacyprus newt catensis.